now on High Tide. Where's Joey? M.I.L. Madly in love. I'm telling you, Mick, this time it's different. I think she's the one. I've heard that before, Joey. I have to talk to you about something important tonight. You're still my wife. I'll tell Joey everything. I'll go to the cops if I have to. You'll keep your mouth shut. Why didn't you tell me Frank's your brother? Looking for Joanna and her brother. They're in danger. Well, they're looking for you. Oh, no, they're not, baby. They're looking for the owner of the boat. Who are you? That's okay, I'm the owner. <laughs> this is only one place to be on the water of course there are times when even a surf junkie like me would lack a little more between him and the pacific than six feet of fiberglass the guy who invented the boat had to be a surf hey mister are you okay yeah i'm fine hey did you just call me mister yeah <laughs> i think i'm not as okay as i thought Mister, do you work here? Apparently, I'm the only one who does work here, yeah. And it's Mick, not Mister. So you're Joey's brother. Right. Is he off today? Yeah, he's M-I-L. <laughs> Don't you mean M-I-A? No, M-I-L. Madly in love. Bring a lot of girls up here. Are you kidding? On that bike, two at a time, tops. <laughs> My truth is, if I've ever brought anybody up here, I don't remember. The only thing I remember is the last three weeks meeting you. I feel the same way, Joey. Then what are you doing way over there? I just thought I'm just moving a little too fast. You know, I've done that before and Well, I know a way we can remedy that. Yeah. yeah. We just don't end it. How should I pick you up then? I thought we were gonna take things kind of slow. Okay, I'll be late. <sighs> Joey, don't be late. I have to talk to you about something important tonight. I get off at five. Well, why can't we just tonight? Okay. Uh, 
Ah, oh, you already forgot what I like, baby. Hi. Miss me? I'm telling you, Mick, this time it's different. She's different. She's like no person I've ever met before. I mean, it's not just that we like the same things. <laughs> we love the same things. Ah, uh, yeah, that's great, Joey. But it's more than that, too. Uh, she's a vulnerable person. Uh, sometimes she withdraws to this guarded place. Spot! Place, spot, whatever. And she withdraws to this spot. And she wants to let me in, but, but she can't just yet. She's starting to trust me, Mick. I can sense it. She's in her own little corner. Spot, okay, fine. It's her own secret spot in the world that she's been protecting for so long. And now, just now, she's finally ready for some real human contact. But you know, Mick, it's, it's her pain that touches me most deeply. The fact is, I know pain. I guess you know pain now, too, huh? You're really serious about this girl, aren't you? That's what I've been trying to tell you all along. Nick, I really think she's the one. The one? I've heard that before. Joey Valerie May was the one, then Gina Shipman was the one. Now this girl's the one. Her name's Joanna. I mean, she's the one one. That'd make her the 11. You know what? Maybe, just maybe, you're wrong this time. You could at least try to be a little more happy for me. the owner <laughs> I am well now that I've seen it I really have to go hey 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 you're not gonna tell me that kid can please you like I can hmm? no Frank hmm? not this time All right, you're right. I'm in trouble, and I need your help. It's the boat. It's stolen, isn't it? No, 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 no. The boat is completely legal. In fact, I, I had a, I had a really good business hauling things up and down the coast. Uh, you know, cargo, people. Uh, completely legal. So then, what's the trouble? <sighs> well. I got these bad debts from before, and uh, they tracked me down in San Jose. <laughs> if they find out I got this boat, they're going to take it away. I don't have any money, Frank. I don't need your money, Joanne. I got this big deal I'm working on, and, and I'm going to be able to take care of all my accounts. I just need some time. So what can I do? Take the title to the boat just for a little while, because I got to get it out of my name. <laughs> Please? 
Joanna, I want to stay legit, and this boat, it's all I got. Sorry, Frank, I can't help you. It's not going to cost you anything. It's not going to cost you a dime. With you, there's always a price. I think I didn't pick out a ring, huh? Joy, what are you doing here? Nice boat. That one just like it. A bottle. Did you forget about our date? Didn't you get my message? I left one for you at the cafe. I didn't go in. Look, I know what it looks like, and he's not who you think he is. Maybe you're not who I thought you were. Still not here. Yeah, I can see that. Joey. Now look, Mick, you were right, okay? So please, spare me the I told you so. That wasn't what I was gonna say. Oh, no? Maybe you were gonna give me one of those bro-to-bro -bro live chats, you know, the ones where you tell me, look, uh, I know you're hurting now, but in time you'll get over her. Actually, yeah. Thanks. Means a lot. Glad I could help. <sighs> Excuse me, Joey. What do you want? Frank Calvin. Can we talk? Thanks for agreeing to see me. Frank, I already told you no. Now, if that's what this is about, you... I know what you said, okay? That little matter's been taken care of. Ahoy! <laughs> What's going on here, Frank? I'll let Joey tell you all about it. Sis. It's you! You're here! <laughs> hey, listen, I'm really sorry about yesterday. I can be such a bonehead sometimes. Why didn't you tell me Frank's your brother? <laughs> hey, Joe, you want another brewski? Yeah, I can go for that. All right. Uh, how about you, sis? I'm fine, thanks. Okay. Your brother's so cool. Besides, I mean, I totally don't mind helping him out. Helping him out? Joey... Uh, Joanna, Joanna, it's okay. It's all right. Your brother told me you were too embarrassed to ask. Yeah, I don't mind helping him out. I mean, family, right? <laughs> and besides, I got to own this cool tub. Even if it is just for a couple of weeks. Hey, Whoa. <clears throat> Are you going to finish that briar work, or am I going to have to find someone else to do it? I'm almost done. I'm almost All done. Right. Just be a few minutes, okay? Frank, you can't do this. It's already done. Don't worry about it. It'll all be over before you know it. I'll do it. I'll take the title to the boat. You just leave Joey out of this. Not necessary anymore. Besides, this way I can keep an eye on what he does to my wife. I won't let you. I'll tell Joey everything. I'll go to the cops if I have to. No, you won't. They'll keep your mouth shut. How can you be so sure? This Joey's too young and pretty to die in a freak boating accident. Don't you think? Whoa! Joey, let me give you a hand with that.
think about that? It's very nice. No, I'm serious. About what? That. It's a boat. Very good. So what do you think? No. What do you mean, no? Oh, man, I tried to raise you, right? Where'd that go wrong? What? What? You bought this thing, didn't you? No. But I own it, though. What? What are you doing? I'm looking for Ed McMahon. Oh, come on, Mick. Look, look, it's beautiful. Look at the lines and the wood and the, the, the ropes. Same way you talked about Joanna. Yeah, I'm serious about her, too. Joey, you don't even like boats. Baywatch makes you seasick. That's okay. Frank says we can't really take it out right now anyway. Something about barnacles. Who's Frank? Joanna's brother. You didn't sign anything, right? Oh, no. Now, Mick, okay. I can see you're getting tense. Uh, Mick? Oh, man, I can't do it. I can't bail out on Frank like this. Look, you don't know anything about this boat, and you sure don't know anything about this guy. He's Joanna's brother. Fine, he's Joanna's brother. Michael Corleone had his sister, too. Ha, 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 very funny. Do you know if there's a mortgage on this thing? I know it's sleep six. Look, I'm sure if there was anything like that, Frank would have told me. Did you think to ask? Well, no. Like, I was just trying to help the guy out. Why does everything have to be so complicated? Joey, I know you had the best of intentions. But if this boat carries any kind of liability and the creditors come looking for the owner and they find you, I own half a surf shop. Right, which they can then take. No problem, I'll sign my half over to you. Where's the boat? I don't even know what I don't even know what it is. I'm telling you, there's diamonds in it. Put the gun down, I could explain it, man. Mm -hmm. The lines, the wood, the ropes, the guys with guns. Ah, I don't, what are you crazy? Yo, put the gun Where? down, man. What are you talking about? Lady, man, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. You got the wrong guy, man. Where? Put the gun down. Shut up. Where is it? I don't know. Put it down. Put the gun down, man. Hey. Uh. Man, I think that guy dislocated my jaw. Smart. You were good, though. All that black stuff was really good. Some partner you got there, pal. What are you talking about? You didn't even meet the guy. Maybe because he was too busy running away to make a formal introduction. He was protecting his sister. Oh, please. I should have had a sister. It's in the jeans, Mick. She would have probably turned out just like Joey. Probably right. Hmm. You mind? Yeah, I do, actually. Smoking's bad for your health. Remember? Okay. We put out the description you gave us. It's about all we can do right now. That's it? What else do you want, Joey? They're dusting for prints. If any of them have a record, at least we'll know who we're looking for. You're looking for Joanna and her brother. They're in danger. I'm pretty sure they got away. Oh, why haven't they come back, then? Care to place any bets on that one? What are you talking about? Oh, come on. You saw the kind of company they keep. They're involved in something. You're so judgmental. I ran both names. Frank Helvin, Joanna Craig. Nothing. See? They're clean. If that's their real names, can you run a check through the boat? Oh, well, the boat's not registered, and it's going to be pretty tough to track down the owner. Well, uh, that's easy. I'm the owner. Did he just say he's the owner? It was an opportunity no one with vision would have passed up. You know, there's a chance your kids will probably turn out just like him. We could always adopt. 
Look, why don't you two go dry off? I'll, uh, be in touch. Let's hope you turn up a match on a fingerprint or two. Relax, baby. I'm just gonna lay low for a while. You're a spy bait. What's up? Hey, man. Hey, how are you? Come, Come on, sweetheart. Joanne? Did you hustle up? How are you? older, dressed like a surfer. Gnarly. And, uh, pray tell, did you happen to notice whether Calvin and the girl ran off with my merchandise? Uh, they weren't carrying nothing. Ah, huh. then it must still be on the boat. Please, could you go back and look for it? Uh, the place was crawling with cops and we went back. Uh, then I suggest you go there, you wait for them to crawl away, find what's mine. Yes, sir. Wait. And find him, too. He's clearly working with Calvin. Oh, really? OK, yeah. Thank you. Anything? No. No answer at home, and the manager of the restaurant said she didn't show up for a shift. Oh, doesn't look too good, bro. No, it doesn't. But not for the reason that you think. Hey, where are you going? Well, I'm not going to do her any good sitting around here, am I? Look, Joey, face it. You don't know the first thing about this girl. You don't know what she's involved in. The best thing you can do is just wait here. You know what? You're wrong about her, and I'm going to prove it to you. Excuse me. Hey, Chris. Where's Joey? Oh, he's out detecting and proving what an insensitive pig I am. I'll go with the insensitive part. But you're not a pig, Meg. Thanks, I think. You got something? You were right. You got a match? Several. Index finger matches for one Joseph P. Barrett, who happens to have prior arrests. But no conviction. Honey, the way you two are going, it is only a matter of time. Anybody else? Frank Calvinetti, parole number 8311VH. He was released from Roswell State Prison about four months ago. He served time for grand theft and assault. My future brother-in-law. Ah, but wait. There's more. Joanna. No. The boat, it would seem our investigation has set off a few bells. Mick, the FBI is looking for it. Joanna? Is that you? Oh! Oh! Ow. I'm guessing you're not Joanna. Who are you? I'm Joey Barrett. Who are you? FBI, what are you doing on this boat? Oh, I, that's okay. I'm the owner. Ah! Ow! Hey, what's the deal? We've been looking for you. You're under arrest. No kidding. Do I look like I'm kidding? I don't know. We just met. You kidding? I'm afraid not. Cuffs are a little tight, don't you think? You're into that. Okay. 
Nick. Yeah. They talked to you yet? No, I've been here for like 45 minutes. What's going on? I don't know. Chris is still out there talking to that Finn. Did you find anything out about Joanna? No, nothing yet. Yeah, which one's good cop? You got five minutes, then get the hell out of my office. Look, Agent Phillips, you got the wrong name. I know. Sit down, Mr. Barrett. We're not filing charges against your brother. At least not today. Great. So can I go home? I'd like to ask you a few questions first. Is this the man who turned the boat over to you? Yeah, that's Frank. Frank Calvin. Calvinetti. Calvinetti. Sorry. So is the boat stolen or what? No. Last week in San Jose, this boat became material evidence in a federal homicide case. Well, you don't mean that, Frank. We'd like to speak to Mr. Calvinetti. We think perhaps he was a witness. That's it. That's why the guys on the boat were after him. Frank witnessed a murder, and now he's running scared. Look, you got to find him, OK? His sister Joanna's with him, and she knows nothing about this. Is this the woman who claims to be Calvinetti's sister? What do you mean, claims? Is it her? Yeah, that's Joanna. The woman is Joanna Calvinetti, Frank Calvinetti's wife. Wife? If either of these two attempt to contact you again, Mr. Barrett, you get in touch with us immediately. I don't believe it, man. I'm sorry, Joe. No, I mean, I don't believe it. Look, I know I was wrong about Frank, but I'm not wrong about Joanna. She lied to you. OK, fine, good, so she lied. But that stuff that happened in San whatever, that was a week ago. Mick, she was with me a week ago. Joanna's in trouble, and all the feds care about is getting Frank. I think you're right. You do? Yeah, those guys on the boat, they were looking for something. Remember one of them said, where is it? Yeah, but where is what? Let's go see for ourselves. How long do we have to stay here, Frank? Long enough, baby. Oh, so, Spivey, come on, man. Could you move the stuff? Oh, I can move it all right. Oh. Question is, can you get to it? What stuff? I can get to it. What's the problem? Brian Burgess got ripped off for three mil worth, and he ain't too happy about it. Wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you, Frank? Don't worry about Burgess, all right? You just set up the deal. Could you handle that? Got it. Frank, you told me your business was legit. Hey, V. My business was legit. It just turns out that uh, some of the people I was dealing with, they, they weren't, so. And you stole from them? Are you crazy? I mean... Baby, baby, calm down. I got it all worked out. You know me. Well, they're looking for you. Oh, no, no. No, they're not, baby. They're looking for the owner of the boat. That's the beauty of it. looking for anyway? I don't know. We'll know it when we find it. Know when we find it? I mean, Chris's guys have been up and down this whole thing. There's nothing here. Will you just look? You know what? I'm starting to hate this boat. The whole thing needs a stinking paint job. You can't even take it out on the ocean. Not to mention the fact that I just plain hate boats. What did you just say? I hate boats! No, no, about not being able to take it out in the ocean. Oh, Frank mentioned some barnacle problem. Should have been my first clue. Hey, what's your problem? Come on. Come on, what? Come on, push me over the side. We're being watched. Come on. This is no time to be playing shadow boxing. I think I solved your barnacle problem. Nick, you shouldn't have. Man, think these are real? There's too many people after them to be fake. Frank must not have known about them, otherwise he would have used them to pay off his creditors. What, are you saying Frank's a diamond smuggler, Mick? I doubt it. Really? How'd you get his hands on these? 
Last week, the feds in San Jose busted two boats in the middle of an offshore diamond deal. The bad guys started shooting. When the smoke cleared, two of them and an agent were dead. The other boat and the diamonds vanished. Well, Frank's boat. What do you think? Make your pal Frank nothing but a two-bit bag man who made off with the loot. God, you're sexy when you're hard-boiled. Say loot again. Later. Ah, uh, can we focus here? So who do you think Frank stole these from then? Well, someone big, that's for sure. I think your friends are in a lot deeper than we thought. Whoa, 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 just a minute here, Chris. Joanna doesn't know anything about diamonds. Then why is she running, Joey? Well, maybe because nobody will give her the benefit of the doubt. Whatever happened to innocent until proven guilty, huh? <sighs> Joey. Just let him go, man. an APB. Thanks, Chris. I don't think it's going to do much good, though. They waited over there. They must have been watching the shop, waiting for him to leave. Calvinetti? Worse. Whoever's looking for those diamonds has got my brother. We still don't know who that is. Oh, it's the people the feds were staking out in San Jose. Why don't you talk to your friend Phillips at the FBI? It's a dead end, Mick. You know how they are about sharing. But then Frank Calvinetti's the only other person who knows who was involved that night. Then we'll find him. First, I gotta put those diamonds back where I found them. Well, Mr. Barrett, so far, I think you've shown remarkable restraint. <laughs> you could have fooled me. Where's Frank Calvin? How should I know? He's your partner. Look, I signed a paper so his creditors wouldn't take his boat away. Is that so? Do we believe him? No, do you think so? Look, if I knew where he was, believe me, I'd take you straight there. Oh, of course. Then where's his wife? She'd know. You'd recognize his wife, wouldn't you? Hundreds could in the dark. Oh, oh. oh bless his heart. I think he's in love. Not wise to love the wife of a thief. She'll lie. Almost as much as her husband. Yeah, this kid doesn't know anything. Yeah, what he said. Really? Maybe not. Or maybe he's trying to protect his girlfriend, huh? Joey? Joey. Frank stole three million dollars worth of diamonds from me. I want them back. I can see why you would. And you can understand why we would do anything to get them back? Sounds reasonable enough. Yes, and you can also appreciate that we would kill anyone who stood in the way. Uh, I'd have to draw the line right about there. I thought you might. So, where are the diamonds? Look, I don't know any of Frank's business. I just dated his... Well, wife. <sighs> Mr. Barrett, do you seriously expect me to believe you know nothing about your own partner's business? Well, frankly, yes. Well, frankly, I don't believe you're that stupid! I'm in the ballpark, trust me. <sighs> I'm running out of patience. <sighs> you're running out of time. Gatch, well, maybe he can help you rack your brains. <sighs> Forgive the pun, couldn't resist. Okay. These are the names of Frank's accomplices throughout his illustrious career. You think he was working with someone else? No, I think he's just looking for a place to spend the night. No. Ah. Oh, come on, have you forgotten everything you ever knew? Not everything. Just this stuff. Hmm. How do I eliminate the names of the ones who are still incarcerated? Okay, so that leaves uh, Kaufman and Spinoza. Russell Kaufman, 34, armed robbery assault, lives in Ventura, California. Well, I don't think Frank would want to be that far from the boat. 
John Spivey Spinoza, 31, assault, possession, possession with intent, lives in Oceanside. Practically next door. Yeah. Or just over the fence. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, I'll go back to the boat. Yeah. Make sure everything's cool, all right? Okay. You keep an eye on her, all right? Yeah. All right. I'll be back. Uh, we didn't get a chance to meet earlier. I'm Mick Barrett, Joey's brother. Freeze, dirtball! Shh. You're gonna tell me who's got my brother? I ain't telling you anything. Don't worry, Mick. Ten minutes with me, he'll sing like a canary. Come on, Chris, you know what that does to me. Hey, you play your cards right. Maybe when this is all over, I'll read you your rights. I know my rights. I wasn't talking to you. <laughs> you missed. Hold your game, Gash. You have a visit. Bitch! I'll play the winner. Join yourself, bro? Oh, yeah, yeah. But I prefer board games. Is this the other one? This is him. What do you want? A trade. My brother for your diamonds. Doesn't seem fair, I know, but... You have them? I know where they are. I take you to him, you let my brother and I go. Agreed. What's the plan? No plan. We made a deal with these gentlemen. They get what they want, and we walk, and they seem like men of honor to me. Yeah, you haven't played billiards with them. It's a trap, boss. The stones aren't here. We already searched it top to bottom. Next time, try bottom to top. I think that belongs to you. Oh, we'll take these. And I guess uh, we'll be going. Ah, uh, yeah. Keep in touch, huh? Uh, just a minute. Didn't really think I'd let you go, did you? I guess it doesn't really matter what we think. We had a deal, man. Uh, call it capricious of me, I know. Call you goof. Take them somewhere isolated. You know, deserted, devoid of human life. Euro Disney. Well, it's been a good life. Hey, Joey? Yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, listen, it's my fault. I'm the one who got us into this. No luck for that. For this. <laughs> California, you gotta love it. <laughs> Sorry, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, you? Yeah, I'm so worried, and I tried to tell you about Frank, wanted to tell you about Frank, but then everything got so crazy, and I just... Joey, kiss the girl. Huh? Oh, oh, yeah. Move it. We'll be right back. Hey. Man, where were you? I ate already. Man, the airport was murder. Sorry. So, do you want to get off, okay? Yeah, put her on the plane. Shh, go. 
probably gonna miss her, huh? Yeah. I got a feeling she'll be back, though, after Frank's trial. Let me find Solo for a while, pal. Not exactly. Not exactly. I met the most amazing girl at the airport. You're kidding me. No, her name's Beth. She's got the most incredible eyes. You're unbelievable. This is true. What's this? Hey! What do you mean, nothing? What is this? Nothing. Hey! Hey! No! You just gotta listen. No, no, no. Now, Mick, your brother's a pilot, see? Hey! What are you doing? This is a golden opportunity. We, we can get in on the ground floor. Oh. Now, Mick, Mick, hey, can we talk about it? Mick, I don't have any money. Now, on High Tide. Showtime! What the hell? For those of you watching at home, this is not a reenactment. This is live. Oh! Oh! Did you get that, baby? Yeah, I got that, Lenny. When was this guy released? That's just it. He wasn't. We love to see ourselves on TV. That's the whole idea here. You can do that for us, can't you? How does it feel to be a hero? Live and in person, Joey Barrett is dead. <laughs> Stay tuned for TV2 Eyewitness News here on Channel 38.